Hi, I'm Animesh Gerg from Automation Sciences Lab, and I'm here today to talk about customized 3D printed implants for cancer treatment use, using radiation therapy. Cancer is one of the leading causes of death in the United States, and it appears in various uh, parts of the body. We are particularly interested in cancer sites, uh, or in tumors, which, are, which occur in naturally occurring cavities, like uh, oral thoracic, uh, colorectal, and gynecological cancers. Brachytherapy is a form of internal radiation therapy where the radioactive source is taken close to the tumor for dosage. We are particularly interested in intracavitary form of brachytherapy where the source goes into the naturally occurring cavity without actually puncturing tissue. Radioactive dose uh, due to a radioactive source is a function of both the position, the, the dwell position, and the time it stays there, the dwell time. However, uh, for a good uh, radioactive dose distribution, we need uh, accurate source placement. And that has been quite a challenge in practice due to the lack of feedback in clinic. So let, let, let us say that we have a tumor and some cavity, and the traditional uh, applicators that are available are kind of linear, which provide few dwell positions and have, are farther from the tumor, which results in a high dose distribution to the healthy organs. The motivation of our work here is to have uh, this dose distributed over a larger number of dual positions that are closer to the tumor and hence uh, low uh, side effects. So as I said, standard applicators offer little in terms of customization for the patient and patient, co patient comfort. So we have proposed this new approach uh, or workflow for creating customized implants. We start with the patient's CT scan or an MRI scan where the, the physician then goes in and tells us where the organs are. We create a 3D model of the patient. Then we extract the tumor and the cavities out of the, out of the 3D model. And we use optimization-based dose planning algorithms and channel planning algorithms to create internal channels within the implant and then physically actually create a 3D printed implant like this. So uh, a dose planning algorithm gives us uh, these dwell positions where, uh, and channels come in because these connect these uh, dwell positions to the entry zones. Uh, the channels are curvature constraints due to limitations on the radioactive source. Each of the channel is created as a sequence of arcs using traditional robot motion planning algorithms. We have created uh, simulation results for an actual gynecological cancer case, but we, but we went ahead and convinced the clinicians to actually do it on an uh, oral cancer patient uh, using biocompatible 3D printed implants. Uh, and the, uh, the peculiarity of this case was this would not have been otherwise possible with a standardized implant. We extended the use of uh, 3D printed implants for making needle guides in case of prostate cancer treatment. So the current standardized implants in prostate cancer look like those in the upper left, where they have parallel needles and they puncture tissue, uh, which results in side effects. We have created implants which, which allow for skew line needle configurations to be implemented without much uh, needed in terms of skill on the physician part, physician's part. And that results in a lower side effect. So uh, it is estimated that about 150,000 new cases of intracavitary brachytherapy will come up every year. And a number of uh, these, over 90% of the standard applicators are supplied by one of those two companies, Electa and Varian. This obviously results in a higher, dough, higher cost. And despite some of the shortcomings that are already there, our proposed solution is both low cost and cost patient specific. Hence, I believe that productization here has a very high opportunity and uh, to that end, we have filed for a patent and are actively pushing for uh, clinical adoption. So some of the things that I've been working on right now is better, better dose planning algorithms and channel planning algorithms, uh, using these 3D printed implants not only for intracavitary brachytherapy, but also as needle guides that will go for treating tumors that are deeply seated. And finally, uh, one of the more exciting things that I've been doing is uh, using these implants uh, with multi-material printers to directly print uh, radiation shielding material directly into the implant, that would allow us to shape the distribution even better uh, uh, and avoid side effects uh, related with radiation therapy. I would like to thank you, uh, thank my collaborators both at Berkeley and UCSF Clinic, uh, and uh, I would be available for uh, detailed questions later today. Thank you.